The Unbearable Lightness of Being is a 1988 American film adaptation of the novel of the same name by Milan Kundera. It is directed and written by Philip Kaufman, co-written by Jean-Claude Carrière, and stars Daniel Day-Lewis, Juliette Binoche, and Lena Olin. The film portrays Czechoslovak artistic and intellectual life during the Prague Spring, and the effect on the main characters of the communist repression that resulted from the Warsaw Pact invasion of Czechoslovakia in 1968. Plot <inaudible> 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 Tomas, a successful brain surgeon in communist Czechoslovakia, is pursuing an affair with Sabina, an equally carefree artist in Prague. Tomas takes a trip to a spa town to conduct a specialized surgery. There he encounters dissatisfied waitress Teresa, who desires intellectual stimulation. She later tracks him down in Prague and moves in with him, complicating Tomas's affairs. Tomas asks Sabina to help Teresa find work as a photographer. Teresa is both fascinated and jealous when she grasps that Sabina and Tomas are lovers, but nevertheless still develops an affectionate friendship with Sabina. Tomas marries Teresa in a simple ceremony, with both perpetually laughing. She continues to be distressed by Tomas's promiscuity, and though she considers leaving him, she becomes more attached when the Soviet army invades Czechoslovakia. Amid the confusion, Teresa photographs demonstrations against the Soviet forces, then hands the rolls of film to foreigners to smuggle to the West. Unwilling to face the stultifying reality that is replacing the Prague Spring, Tomas, Sabina, and Teresa flee Czechoslovakia for Switzerland. Sabina leaves first, later followed by the hesitant Tomas and Teresa. In Geneva, Sabina meets Franz, a married university professor. They begin a love affair. He eventually decides to abandon his wife and family for her. After hearing his plans, Sabina abandons him, feeling he would emotionally weigh her down. Meanwhile, Teresa and Tomas attempt to adapt to Switzerland, but Teresa finds the people inhospitable. When she discovers that Tomas continues to womanize, she leaves him and returns to Czechoslovakia. Upset by her leaving, Tomas follows Teresa to Czechoslovakia, where his passport is confiscated, preventing him from leaving again. His return elates Teresa, and they are reunited. Tomas attempts to resume his practice, however, a scathing article he wrote before the invasion, criticizing the Soviet backed Czech regime, has rendered him a political dissident. The regime demands his signature to a letter repudiating the article, claiming that Tomas's article fueled anti-communist sentiment. Tomas refuses and is apparently blacklisted from practicing medicine. He finds work as a window washer and continues to womanize, seducing the daughter of a high-ranking official. As a waitress, Teresa meets an engineer who propositions her. Aware of Tomas's infidelities, she engages in a single, passionless sexual liaison with the engineer. Remorseful, she fears the engineer might have been a secret agent for the regime, who might denounce her and Tomas. She contemplates suicide at a canal bank. By chance, Tomas passes by Teresa and woos her back. Stressed by city life, Teresa convinces Tomas to leave Prague for the country. They go to a village where an old patient of Tomas's welcomes them. In the village, they live an idyllic life, far from the political intrigues of Prague. In contrast, Sabina has gone to the U.S., where she continues her detached bohemian lifestyle. Later, Sabina is shocked by a letter that informs her Teresa and Tomas have been in a fatal traffic accident. Topic Cast Topic Production The film was an American production with American director, Philip Kaufman, but it features a largely European cast. It was filmed in France, in the scenes depicting the Soviet invasion. Archival footage is combined with new material shot in Lyon. 
The scene in which Thomas has sex with a woman while cleaning windows was shot in the then unrestored Hotel de Beauvais in the 4th arrondissement of Paris, now the administrative appeal court. Topic: <laughs> Adaptation. Kundera served as an active consultant during the making of the film. Kundera wrote the poem that Tomás whispers into Teresa's ear as she is falling asleep specifically for the film. However, in a note to the Czech edition of the book, Kundera remarks that the movie had very little to do with the spirit either of the novel or the characters in it. In the same note, Kundera goes on to say that after this experience, he no longer allows any adaptations of his work. Many critics have focused on how much of the book was successfully captured, or could be captured, on film. However, some commentators, such as Catrissa Patrick, have argued that the film must be viewed in a different light, with the book as only one source of inspiration. Reception The film garnered high praise from critics. Jean-Claude Carrière and Philip Kaufman were nominated at the Academy Awards for Best Adapted Screenplay. The film was listed 87th by the American Film Institute in its 2002 list AFI's 100 Years .100 Passions <laughs> Home media A digitally restored version of the film was released on DVD by the Criterion Collection in November 1999. The release includes audio commentary by director Philip Kaufman, co-writer Jean-Claude Carrière, editor Walter Murch and actress Lena Olin. It was re-released on DVD by Warner Home Video as a two-disc special edition on February 28, 2006. Topic. Soundtrack The film makes use of music by Leos Janáček and also Marta Kubasova singing, Hey Jude, in Czech.